So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P1495 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Dodge P1495 code? Well, it's an EVAP leak detection pump solenoid circuit condition. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this, so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad gas cap or inlet. It could be a bad leak detection pump, which can also contain the vent valve and the pressure sensor. There could be an EVAP leak. There could be something going on in the wiring and possibly a bad charcoal canister. And so the basics of what's going on inside of a Dodge EVAP system is that the gas vapors are going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose over to what's called the vapor charcoal canister. And this is basically like storage for the gas vapors. And somewhere on or near the charcoal canister, there's going to be what's called a leak detection pump and quite often with dodges this also contains the vent valve and the pressure sensor quite often they're contained inside of one package this can vary sometimes they are separate and they could be located differently but it is very common for them to be inside of one package and quite often they're located on the charcoal canister but just keep in mind that these can be separate and they can be located differently. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister. It's going to go up to the top of the engine, what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically opens when the engine's running, so the gas vapors can go in and get burnt off. Then it closes when the engine's not running, so they don't escape. And so the first thing to go and check out is going to be the gas cap. Because the gas cap is a part of the EVAP system, it needs to seal properly or else the EVAP system won't work correctly. So go and check it out. Be sure it's not cracked, damaged, that that seal inside of there is working and things like that. And this includes the new Dodges with no gas cap. Basically, go and check it out and be sure this inlet isn't stuck open or anything like that. And so if the gas cap looks good, then the next thing to go and check out is going to be that leak detection pump. A bad leak detection pump is going to be the most common problem with the P1495 code. So go and check it out. Be sure to check out the wiring because that can also cause issues. Like I said, quite often they're located on the charcoal canister, but sometimes they can be located differently. It can be a good idea to get a diagram for your particular Dodge to see how everything's laid out and just to see what's going on with it. For example, here's a 2003 Dodge Dakota, and as you can see, leak detection pump and the vent valve is all contained inside of one package and it would be located on the charcoal canister. But the next thing to go and do is to test or replace that leak detection pump. And so if you check out the gas cap, that's good. The leak detection pump's good. There's no problems here but you're still getting this code, then very likely there's a leak somewhere inside of the system. One of these hoses is leaking or one of these components is leaking and it's just going to have to be found. And so you can go around and look at all these hoses to see if anything's become damaged or disconnected or things like this, but it can be kind of hard to find a leak in an EVAP system. If you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system and then wherever the smoke came out, they would know where the leak's at. This is a very common method. There's some low-cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make these up yourself Yourself. There's some good YouTube videos on how you can make these up for like five, ten dollars. But the next thing to go and do is to go through all these components down here at the charcoal canister, the leak detection pump, all the way up to the top of the engine at the purge valve, and be sure there's no leaks going on. Because if you check everything else out, then very likely at this point there is a leak somewhere. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Dodge with the P1495 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.